know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. You will find the bulk brake discs and brake pads used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the brake discs and brake pads on your vehicle, you will have to raise the front of the car and take off the wheels. This will provide you with full access to the brake discs. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels, raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Turn the disc outwards. This will facilitate the process. Insert a flathead screwdriver to the outer extremity of the oblong hole located on the front of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as the lever by pulling it towards you. Don't hesitate to push the screwdriver further in once the space between the pad and the caliper allows. Ensure that you have pushed the piston in as far as possible before moving on to the next operation. Using a 13mm spanner, loosen the upper caliper mounting bolt. You can use a hammer to help you. Do the same with the lower caliper mounting bolt. Using a socket wrench and a 13mm socket, unscrew the upper caliper mounting bolt. Sometimes you have to stop the lock nut from turning by holding it with your fingers or with a 15mm spanner. Do the same with the lower caliper mounting bolt. Tip. Attach a piece of electrical cable or a piece of string to one of the coils on the suspension spring. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension using the cable you have already attached. Remove the pads. You can slip them off by pushing them away from the disc. With a flathead screwdriver, remove the noise dampening shims. Using a T-handle wrench and a 15mm socket, loosen both screws that fasten the brake caliper mount. Depending on the state of the nut on the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. Remove the brake caliper mount. Using a T40 torque socket, release the two holding screws on the disc. Finally, remove the disc. Clean the hub with a wire brush, and once that is done, coat it with copper grease. This will help avoid deterioration caused by oxidation and aid with future interventions. Take the new disc. Before posing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. However, if your new disc is painted, you can pose it directly. Place the new disc onto the hub and rescrew the two fastening screws by hand as much as possible. Using a wire brush, clean the brake caliper mount on the area of the pads. This will make it easier to put them in place. Put the brake caliper mount back on, screwing by hand to begin with. and finishing with a socket wrench and an 18mm socket to fix it completely. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Assemble the new noise dampening shims provided in the brake pad kit. Insert a thin flathead screwdriver that can slip in between the two sides of the disc. You have to insert it in front of the brake caliper mount so that it butts up against the latter. Rescrew the two holding screws. Take the new brake pads. Coat the outside of the new pads with copper grease. Insert the new pads into the caliper mount, sliding them into place.
detach the caliper. Put the caliper back in place. And screw in the caliper mounting bolts. Don't forget to use the new screw supplied and which has been pre-coated with thread locker. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful! Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe.